Hi everyone, Nicole Spohr here today with another Stamp Timber video. Today is the day that so many of you have been waiting for. Tim Holtz's Stamp Timber Exclusive Limited Edition is now here. It is a super fun cat Christmas stamp set and I'm gonna create this kind of snarky type of slimline Christmas card to share with you. And it is not only the front of the card, but I added some stamping to the inside as well. I am starting with this slimline panel. This is created using the Simon Says Stamp nested or slimline nested rectangles die, the largest die from this set. And what I find works the best for me personally is to kind of lay out what I think I wanna use. I knew I wanted to use a lot of the stamps from the kit and kind of tell a story down the panel, starting with the Dear Santa, it's a long story, and then just all of the funny little phrases and sentiments, which are hilarious. And then, then of course, those cats that are up to all kinds of trouble. We're going to go ahead and stamp the two images that I'm going to need to create at least a partial mask for because I wanna add in um, for the bottom cat, another cat kind of back behind, and for the cat holding the, or all tangled up in the lights, I want to add a package, a gift package there. So we're just gonna create partial masks really fast. This is not a super time consuming type of uh, project as far as masking everything and inking over all of it. I wanted to find a way to create a panel and to tell this story with minimal masking. And so these are the only two masks I'm creating here. Um, in fact, I didn't quite cut enough just around the light. So I'm just gonna go back and cut a little bit more. Luckily, because I haven't you know, inked or anything over this, it's so sturdy. I love this masking paper from Simon Says Stamp. So I lifted it right off and we'll just stamp a few more images. The other little tip here is I did try to stamp as much of the images that I could at a time. So we started with the two images that are gonna need masks, stamped the masks, trimmed the mask or what we needed of that, put those in place, and then we're gonna stamp the rest of the outline images. That's gonna be our cute little cardinal, uh, the package and the other cat. Other than that, we're gonna do some background stamping with snowflakes and things from the stamp set, but we're gonna do a lot of sentiment stamping and I'm gonna save that to do, pardon me, to do in color instead of black. I want it to stand out. And that was kind of my ultimate goal here today was to have these images that I'm gonna cope it color in the black outline, but other than that, we're gonna have some colorful inks in reds, greens, a nice light gray, and then some really pretty kind of aqua blue for the snowflakes. Let's go ahead and remove our masks. Look how funny, look how cute. Really, really clever. I highly recommend using a Misty to stamp your images. It gives you so much control where they're gonna go. I'm even gonna stamp some of my snowflakes, I think, here in a minute, but we really need to start with our sentiments. So that's my next step, is stamping those sentiments. We've got Dear Santa, it's a long story. Then we've got the one about the lights. And I, I tried to pick sentiments to stamp along my panel to help kind of tell the story that went with the images that I am using. So we've got some red ink, we've got some green ink. We're gonna stamp some snowflakes there, kind of they're in the background. That's a nice light aqua. In fact, this color is Simon Says Stamp Lake Shores. It's a beautiful, beautiful, nice light blue. Uh, our red is Lawn Fawn Lobster. Our green today is Lawn Fawn Artichoke. Gray, we've stamped some gray here. Have you learned nothing from last year's tree? That might be my favorite. I don't know, they're all so funny. Uh, but I thought that was so clever and cute. Uh, that is, the gray is Lawn Fawn, or not Lawn Fawn, Simon Says Stamp Smoke Ink. I really just went through my inks and picked the colors that spoke to me for this card. 
There's oh humbug, oh humbug, what milk, what cookies. I love that next to the cat that looks like he may be overindulged. And then we're just gonna flip the panel around because I'm stamping some more snowflakes and things. You'll notice I am not masking. Um, if something overlaps a little bit, oh well, we're gonna color over everything with Copic markers anyway. And the only sentiment that I did not stamp on the background that I am going to add, it, well, there's two, one for the inside of the card, but then we are going to do our sentiment for the front of the card. I know there's a lot of sentiments here, but the one that we're gonna have as a focal point, I'm gonna stamp on another color of cardstock and die cut, and that's Meowy Christmas. We're ready to do our Copic coloring now. This is a little bit longer video. I meant to mention that at the beginning. I left the coloring in. I thought it was kind of important just to show the coloring for this. Please feel free to fast forward if the coloring is not your thing. I have been using my Copics again a lot lately. Um, I don't know why really. I go in phases but I've been enjoying them again, probably mostly because I actually refilled them all. I took a, a day here not too long ago and it, it was pretty much all day and refilled all of my markers at a friend's house. Thank you, Lori. Um, she has the refills and that was such a blessing because I didn't even realize how bad my markers were. So we have got some reds here. That is our 35, 37, and 39 for the Santa hat. And then we're gonna go ahead and color this kitty because I kind of think getting the background of this cat all tangled up in the Christmas lights is gonna help show where the lights are. And then we're gonna color those in. And guess what? Rainbow color to really give a nice pop of color to the card. I especially love that here because it just pulls in so many different colors, but they're small little little bulbs, so it's not gonna be overwhelming. I've got some pinks, that's RV 63 and 55. Our reds, we're gonna use R35 and 37. Yellow, or pardon me, orange, YR00 and YR04. Yellow, Y11 and Y19. Green is G43 and G99. I'm gonna mention real quick, that's not a color combination. I use a ton, but it I like it for Christmas. And so I pulled it in here and I really like how it turned out. Uh, aqua, BG32 and 49. Blue, B34 and B37. And then I like, they're considered blue, but this is the color combination I use for purple a lot, and it's B63 and B66. Just adding in all that color, there are a lot of lights here, which I'm really glad about because I think they're really funny. And if I had to pick, this cat would be my favorite. I think he's funny. It reminds me of any of my friends who have struggled with Christmas trees and their cats because they're just so enamored with the tree. I know many of you are cat lovers and owners and you, I'm sure you feel that pain during the holiday season. And it's just a clever, funny way to kind of symbolize that. Add in a little bit more color. It looks like we have a couple more of these left. I do wanna mention this video is going up at midnight Eastern time when this set is released. It is always very, very popular. It is limited edition, exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. When it's gone, it's gone. But Simon Says Stamp and Tim Holt have a great uh, little live tomorrow. Tim will be going live and he's gonna be sharing loads of samples. So please, if you follow Tim on Facebook, check that out. Great opportunity to get inspired and see what everybody has created with this stamp set. Um, I know I can't wait to see what everybody else created. It should be a really good time and he always has such a fanta fantastic live. So definitely check that out. That is, is at 10 a.m. I want to say, I don't wanna tell you wrong. 10 a.m. Pacific. So I looked it up. So make sure and make note of that. 
um, and check it out. You can always catch the replay later. That's the great thing about that. So if you, you know, are out doing running errands and whatever, I know I'm going to be running errands a little earlier that morning and I've got an appointment. So hopefully I'll be home by that time because I always love to pop in and kind of just see what you guys are all doing and saying and just, like I said, see all of the great projects. I am coloring in this gift package now. Why I colored it in upside down, I'm not exactly sure. This is a habit I've gotten into um, when I use zigs because they're water-based and they stay wet longer and sometimes smear. So I will often flip my card around and I think I was kind of doing that here even though that's not a concern with alcohol ink markers like Copics. One of my favorite things to do is add some design to the gift package. We're going to do that with a white pen, just drawing in some nice little diac uh, diagonal stripes. And then I am working my way from top to bottom today. I had started thinking maybe I'll just color everything red and so I had done the Santa hat on the cat down on the bottom and then I quickly decided I think I'll just work from the top down. Let's go ahead and color in the cardinal which I think he's a fun touch as well. I really tried to use pretty much everything in the stamp set. Um, it wasn't super intentional. It kind of worked out that way, but I think he is a fantastic addition. He's standing on that cat's head. I'm using my reds, some oranges for the beak, some green. I just traced the little sprig in his mouth. I love that he has the same little funny eye there that the cats have. We'll pull in a little dark gray, blending it into the red. And then we're gonna just work our way down to the next cat. So the cat wearing this sweater. That is the other fantastic thing about these images. So this guy's got a, a great little hat, a sweater, and a coffee cup. The details here are just really great. Now, because I'm working from the top down, I went ahead and I'm going to cover the light bulbs with this, I think I grabbed the crystal um, lacquer pen from Hero Arts because it was handy. Glossy accents would work here. Uh, Nouveau clear drops would work here. Anything to give those light bulbs a little bit more um, of that glossy glass-like finish. The key to this card today, in my opinion, is finishing details. So you're going to see crystal lacquer. You're going to see some very light inking around the edges. The sentiments are in a different color other than black so that they stand out. The light blue snowflakes and flurries that we're going to have in the background um, to fill in some of that white space. Nouveau crystal drops in silver, very, very tiny droplets in those snowflakes to give them a little bit of glitter. Nouveau crystal drops in white blizzard. Um, we're going to be adding that to a couple of little areas. Little teeny tiny finishing details, uh, black gel pen to noses and eyes, white pen for the gift package, for highlights on the noses after the black pen has dried. All of those little things really elevate a card from Fan, you know, great to fantastic. And that is my favorite thing to do is just small little touches that really bring out the character of a design. This cat is going to be a nice dark gray, really almost a black. That's a warm gray five and eight. Well, I think I even maybe used a little two and zero zero somewhere. Maybe I listed it there. I'm not so sure I used it, but Hey, I wrote it down, so maybe I did. Um, a little R00 for the inside of the ear. Some greens, G43 and 99 for the hat. We're going to use greens and reds for the sweater, and then the teal aqua color combination for his coffee cup. So let's do the majority of the sweater, and I love that it's like a cable knit. The texture and the detail in the stamp itself is incredible. You don't always get a lot of that. Um, you have to imagine it yourself. It's one of the reasons I often will draw in a pattern on 
accessories that critters might be wearing, but there is no need here today because even like the little collar around or the band around the top and the bottom of the sweater and around the sleeves all have detail as well. Um, nice little stripe, which we're gonna add some green and red to because why not? Let's give it as much detail as possible. And look at what a difference the black pen makes for the nose. You, you can see I've already added it here. I will go back and I'm gonna draw in the detail with my white pen because it just takes it up. It Instead of flat like the one on the right, it's really glossy, raised, and looks phenomenal. Trying to decide what colors to color that coffee cup. Aqua it is. And I love the little tree detail on the coffee cup as well. So we've got this kitty all colored. I'm going to go back with my white pen. I drew in some like little whiskers and things. I did take my white pen to the hat. It has polka dots or little little dots on the hat in detail, but they're too tiny for me to color around. So I just went back with the white pen after I colored and added that back in for the two-tone look. Then we're coloring in our final cat. It's going to be an orange tabby. This is the one that I said he looks like he maybe overindulged on the milk and cookies a bit. And he looks a little grumpy about it, which I think is so funny. Um, he is colored with YR30, 31, 24, and 27. You just blend all of that color in. Lots and lots of great texture. Again, all of the little tabby stripes are here for him. Perfect. I'm going to just go over this a couple times till I kind of get that the way I want it to look. And then I part of it is off the edge of this panel, but he's got bells tied around the tip of his tail. And those are going to be colored with YR31 and 23, I think, or tw yeah, I think I grabbed a, the YR23. Just, or YR, th I bet I used YR30 and 31. Just to give them a little bit of color, those are going to be some that we're going to add a product to later just to kind of help differentiate those from the cat. But I love that. I love that there's just little bells around the tip of his tail. He has a nice little green cable knit sweater. He has his little Santa hat on. Nice little black for his nose. We're just gonna put in some little white dots around his whiskers. And then we're gonna set that aside. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment that's gonna go down on the bottom of the card. This is the one that's basically serving as the card sentiment. Everything else is background I hate to say filler, but it's it's telling the story and then this is saying Merry Christmas or Meowy Christmas. I stamped that on some Lawn Fawn Chili Pepper cardstock with clear embossing ink. We're gonna heat emboss with white embossing powder and then die cut this with a nice little decorative strip die. I'm using a nested banners die from Simon Says Stamp. And I like it because I was looking for something a little different than a, just a straight across strip. A straight across strip would be fine too. Um, you could even just trim that out with your paper trimmer if you want to. But I love this because it has round, rounded edges and I thought that it would look kind of nice on the card. Just a little something different because everything else is basically flat. I'm gonna take some of that smoke Simon Says Stamp ink and an ink blending brush and no masking. I'm just gonna go around the edges and darken them a little bit, mostly the four corners, pulling up just a tiny bit, but not inking the whole thing, not going over the whole, whole background to make it gray, just to kind of give it that nice little distressed look. I mean, this set's from Tim. I have to add some distressing somewhere. Um, and this was just a great way to kind of add some detail to the edges of my panel. Once we have that, it's time to add in any finishing detail, add our sentiment strip, add in some extra flurries. So we stamped the snowflakes earlier with the Simon Says Stamp Lake Shores ink. We're gonna add the flurries now. These are the little flurries, really cute. And this is gonna be, again, no masking. 
It's a light ink. If I stamp over something, you're probably not even going to notice it, but it adds so much to the finished design. There's our little sentiment. We want to pop it up with foam adhesive. You guys know me. If it's a sentiment strip, it's getting popped up with foam adhesive. We're going to just put that down there at the bottom of the card with right underneath naughty or nice. Let me think on that. I feel like that works for cats, probably dogs, and children too. Maybe even adults, especially this year. <laughs> um, who knows? <laughs> Great sentiments in this set. I think they're really funny and snarky. The black for the noses should be dry, so we're just going to add in the detail. Anything I maybe missed earlier. I definitely want to go back and double check and make sure I have added any of those things that I wanted to add to this card. A little crystal lacquer for those bells so that they're going to be nice and shiny and that will really kind of help showcase them. I know they're on the edge of the card. And then this is the Silver Moon Dust Nouveau Crystal Drops and it's silver iridescent so it's going to leave a little silver sparkle and I will tip the card in the panel here in a minute so you can really see it. I am doing the barest, teeniest, tiny little drops in my snowflakes. Not the flurries, just the snowflakes. And I love the little addition of sparkle this adds, but I promise the teeniest, tiniest little bit. I hope you can kind of see it there. And then some Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. And my White Blizzard has seen better days. I really need another one. Um, it keeps getting clogged. We're going to add that to the tip of the Santa hat, hat the pom-pom, and also the brim. A little crystal lacquer. Glossy accents will work as well for the beak on the cardinal. Some little detail with my white pen. So we're going back with the white pen now. Um, maybe some little dots on the cardinal and so forth. Now for our card base, I really wanted it to have a contrast because our panel is slightly smaller than the slimline design. So our card base measures three and a half by eight and a half inches. It's a seven by eight and a half inch card that has been scored in half to make it three and a half by eight and a half inches. It's going to leave a nice border all the way around. And I think the green is so much showier than white would have been. Red would be nice as well. Um, I don't know. I just felt like doing green. This is Hero Arts Palm cardstock. Fantastic cardstock. Then we're going to go ahead and open up our card. We could have done this before we added the panel. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and then we're going to stamp our remaining sentiment that says this is more than just a Christmas card. It's also your present. I think that's funny and would work for lots of, <laughs> lots of cards. You wouldn't necessarily have to use it just with this stamp set, but I think it's really snarky. Um, we're going to stamp that on the inside of the card with clear embossing ink, heat embossed with white embossing powder. And I liked it and I thought it was cute, but I felt like I needed to just add something else inside the card. And so I opted to just stamp the little cardinal again, standing kind of on top of my sentiment. We're not gonna color him or anything like that. We'll just stamp and emboss him with white like we did the sentiment. And it really finishes off the card nice. So here after I get the greeting heat embossed. I will show you that and just you'll see what a difference it makes. So this is good, but this is better. I like this. I think it's really, really cute and it finishes the inside of the card. So now I just need to kind of tidy all of this up and then I'm going to show you the finished card design. Let's move our Misty out of the way really quick. And here is our card with the Tim Holtz Stamp Timber 2020 Limited Edition Exclusive. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this slimline snarky Christmas cat card featuring Tim Holtz Stamp Timber 2020 Exclusive Limited Edition Stamp Set. The supplies 
I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time.